Guys, it's Liam here. Today, I'm going to be talking about how this guy saved the world. Now, in case you didn't notice, it's penicillin. Now, this has probably saved your life or your parents' life at some point. Uh, it's quite a miracle. It's a type of mold, which is found on bread. But anyway, we'll, we'll get back to that later. Now, let's, let's talk about the first discovery of penicillin. Now, uh, Alexander Fleming, uh, in 1928, accidentally found mold that killed bacteria. Hence, penicillin was discovered. Uh, so basically, you know, they found all sorts of strange and weird things that, you know, solved a lot of problems that they were a antibiotic, uh, and thus they kill bacterial infections and all sorts of diff different things. So, you know, back then, you know, if you got an infection, it's pretty much a death sentence. You know, there's really nothing to help you. And, uh, until it's a little bit of mold on some bread. Might have just eaten some penicillin there. There could be a little bit of mold on that. But anyway... So this little guy was discovered and distributed, uh, but they didn't really know its full potential because during the war, uh, a person basically they looked and they looked at his, you know, Alexander Fleming's, you know, notes and things, and they thought, oh, this is really important. We should, uh, we we, can, we should look into this. Uh, they asked for, you know, funding from by the government when the war started. Uh, you know, just, you know, surely something that killed bacterial infections would obviously be helpful in the war, but British government didn't see the potential, and therefore, you know, they were too too busy spending their money on bombs and things to care about, you know, penicillin. But uh, then, as you know, they started getting more and more casualties, and the research on this little guy kept on developing. Eventually, they managed to convince them to fund. Because, you know, so many people were dying of this in the war. So, uh, then it was, you know, mass, mass distributed and, you know, mass made all over the country. And then, uh, well, the rest is, uh, in fact, literally history. Well, uh, except now we're fighting a different battle. Antibiotic resistance. Which, you know, things are uh, undergo you know, random mutations, which are usually either harmful to them or, you know, sometimes, sometimes helpful. Uh, for example, you know, through random, uh, random mutations, you know, I said this, there, there was, uh, I had a bacterial infection, so this guy goes into me, he goes to fight, you know, well, pretty much anything. That, 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 uh, and any, you know, harmful bacteria that could be in me, you know, he goes to fight it, but then he realises that, you know, he can't kill it. Now, uh, antibiotic resistance is a big problem that we're now having, uh, because, you know, things like E. coli and salmonella cells are becoming, you know, resistant to this little guy, so he can't go and kill him. So, uh, now... We're facing the problem that, you know, eventually, you know, the miracle of penic penicillin will be lost. That, you know, people will start dying of, you know, early ages due to, you know, easily preventable infections if it wasn't for antibiotic resistance. So, this guy wants your help. 